morning everybody. I'm happy to be here. It's a sunny day and I'm out for a little wander with Jenny. Jenny! And I'm not really on a hike but uh, I just thought I'd bring you along with me. I'd like to thank everybody that's been supporting me and uh, checking out my videos. It's been a lot of fun doing them and I've missed doing them. If you'd like to subscribe, go for it. I think I will keep doing this over the summer and into the fall, but we'll see. So I wanted to talk today about some tools I use for healing in the woods. And the one thing that really sticks out for me and that I wanted to talk to you about is um, shapes and symbols that we find in the woods, in nature. And the big ones that stick out are triangles and hexagons and spirals. Um, you can see that this is nothing new since the beginning of humankind, cultures, and in cultures and in religions. Um, there's always symbols. And um, my basis of my therapy is that we uh, mirror what we see in nature and the triangle is something that you often see throughout the world and uh, um, when you're walking through nature and it's something that um, I've used for probably 30 years and it's a, a really wonderful tool. I will show you as we walk along my little trail here um, how easily it is to find them. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> Birds are out. Red winged blackbirds. Love those. Come on, Jen. So I'm going to show you this. I'm going to turn my camera around. So in front of me, you will see there is a distinct triangle. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my tripod. Use my fingers. One, two, three. Uh, this triangle in particular, um, this is what I find on most of my walks. It's very distinct. Right away, it sticks right out at me. Um, these are cedars, and it's a grouping of three. I don't see any other trees really growing around it. And one could argue that, uh, yes, it's, it could just be with the way it's growing from, we believe that this is a very significant um, tree to heal with in this forest. Um, for one, it's the location. It's it's located where a lot of people would normally stop to contemplate. It's near a nice little creek. Um, the way the sun shines right through these trees is another thing. It's uh, it's always right on target with this group of three. I've also measured it, so I know the significance of the number of how it's measured from tree to tree. It's uh, it's very, very on point. Um, each is within a millimeter of each other. Um, there is no such thing in nature as a perfect triangle. I'll just come a bit closer. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my dog. I always do this. But um, using these trees in healing, I usually get myself or another person to stand where they think they feel they want to stand. Okay, so you can just pick wherever. There's no right or wrong. And I just ask the tree to feel its energy and start to connect to it. And like I always say, you either feel a good energy or a bad energy. And right now, I think with a lot of energy workers and light workers, there's an influx 
of people turning to nature or getting back to nature. I think it's just the uh, uh, stage we're in and what we feel right now in our lives, especially after coming out of the pandemic. There's such an urgency to um, reconnect and balance and ground. So with a triangle like this, it will hold different meaning for everybody. Uh, what it feels for me today wouldn't feel necessarily the same for you. And I can use this uh, triangle tree form for any kind of therapies. It just depends on what the person is uh, wanting in their life or what they're going through. It wouldn't, um, you know, I think spending maybe 20 minutes at this tree would be significant. So the one thing I really love is uh, showing children uh, how they can use these symbols and triangles in the forest. They just love it. Kids are so innocent and they already have that innate ability to connect with nature. For whatever reasons, we lose it as we grow older or we just uh, disconnect because we get busy in our lives. Anybody, I don't care who you are, whether you're the big game hunter or just someone new starting it in the bush, everyone has the ability to connect with nature because we're mirrored in it. And kids love this. They find peace and happiness and joy and for me, that uh, always also reflects onto me and uh, brings out a little bit of my inner child. But today, I just, uh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time here and just uh, appreciate it for what it is. The, uh, uh, for me, these trees always bring a little more clarity and a little more balance. Um, if you're into, uh, you know, masculine and feminine energies, uh, take that as it is. Uh, it, it's a, a really, really good grounding exercise. So thanks everyone. I hope you have a great day and you're able to get outside too. See ya!